This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. step out the truck here and we are gonna go we got a service call condenser not running lady said it went out in September and she just got her money together to get it fixed so I have my handy dandy kit here let's go see what if we can get y'all some footage sounds like compressor Oh yeah, definitely compressor. Let's get that, there we go. All right, tag is falling off. Rain Classic. I got it, I turned it off at the disconnect right here. Yeah, your compressor, your, your compressor runs. Okay. No, the, it's still going to blow inside. Oh. Yeah, that was, yeah, that went the other day. Like, I turned it on and it went out a while ago. Um, but it turned on the other day and then it just wouldn't go after that. It was just like, sorry, not going to do it. Yeah. And if it's not repaired. No, it's, it's, it's pretty free. I mean, it might just be a capacitor. Yeah, they did. Look at that, I said, oh my God. Yeah, them debt guys, they, uh, they don't pay attention to stuff like that. Okay, it may be a simple fix. Okay, a little bit of a helicopter, but uh, compressor was definitely running. It's an old resip. Could use a cleaning. So we're going to take this capacitor apart. The fan motor seems to spin pretty free. I grabbed a, a stick while I was talking to her, and I can't really get a good turn on it, but see, my these sticks keep wanting to break. They're not... Yeah, it's, it's, it's free. Let's see what we get. All right, so we have a 45 plus three. I'm not going to have that on the truck. This thing is so rusted out. I'm gonna have to scratch me some places. All right, this is gonna be hard to do with one hand, but I have a really good bite on the common, on a, on a uh, non-rusty part. And I've got a space rubbed off right here on the fan, but sometimes I have to scratch it. But if we can get it to do, there you go. Ah. There you go, 2.9, and it's a three microfarad capacitor, so it's not. It looks like her fan motor is out. All right, so the verdict on this one is she needs a fan motor. Compressor runs. I even unscrewed the uh, the shredder down there just a little bit. It's got refrigerant in the system. It's not empty. I just I, she needs a fan motor. I think she'll be okay. But we have to go see if she's got the funds for a fan motor because she told me money is an issue right now. So let's go talk to her. No 
Marine Classic. All right, so we're just pulling away from there. Ooh, what a character. And for those of you that are in this business, you know what I'm talking about. So I go in there and I couldn't get no more film. She's one of those ladies that, I mean, doesn't really think she knows everything, but kind of does. So I go in there and I give her the verdict. And she says, uh, well, I don't want to spend $500 or $600 on a fan motor. I want to, I'll just put that. I've been wanting to do one of them Mitsubishi duckless units. And I, I, boy, it took everything I had not to laugh. Because she said, you know, when she called me, she said money was tight and I was referred to her. And, uh, you know, I do have my service call low right now until, you know, because I'm trying to pick up, you know, work. Those of you that follow me know. And, um, you know, so she was like, oh, yeah, you know, definitely, uh, you know, don't have the money for blah, 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 blah. But she wants to put a Mitsubishi in the house. So I started explaining to her what kind of money she's looking at to mini split that house. And we got off that topic real quick. So I start questioning her about why she don't want to put a fan motor. You know, she knows the unit's old. I don't even know what ton it is or the year because the data tag has fallen off of it. Um, I told her I've seen those old rain units run for many, 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 many years. And, you know, I told her, I said, look, if money's tight, you know, put a fan motor on it. Then she started talking about putting an outside unit on, just an outside. I said, well, we would have to, uh, you know, we got to see what kind of inside unit you got. And I asked her if it was in the attic or in a closet. She told me it was in the attic, but I couldn't get up there because they had too much junk. They'd have to clear me some space. So she's supposed to be clearing, she's supposed to be clearing me out some space. I'm going to come back Monday morning, climb up in the attic, see what we got. And, uh, you know, cause I asked her if she had any idea if she knew how old the unit was up in the attic. She said she knows for a fact, and I believe her because you can tell that she's kind of out there, but you, you can tell she knows everything that's been done in her house. So I, 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 I do believe she knows. She said that she, she's positive that it's under 10 years old. So if, if the indoor unit is under 10 years old, then that means it should be rated for 410A, and we can hook a 410 condenser to it. And I don't know if y'all got a, 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 a picture of it or not while I was filming, but the outdoor unit, the line set is running right in front of a window. And I asked her why the hell they did that. And she said, and she said, that's because the window was not there. She had that installed. And it does make sense because after she said that, I started looking and I saw the old line set cover. It's a metal line set cover laying on the ground next to the condenser. So she's not lying about that. Whoever did that job did cover the line set. And uh, see, she had that deck added. I, I'm sure y'all saw, y'all caught a, I caught a glimpse of that deck. That deck was added after the unit was done and that's when she had the window installed. So she said when they did the deck, they did the window and uh, that's why the line set is running in front of the window. So if we do an outdoor unit, if, she, if, if that's possible, um, she said she would like me to reroute that copper, which will be real easy. I'll just put a bender on it and bend it at a 90 degree angle and come down the other way. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to turn the condenser any anyway, but you know, I, I questioned her without being a jackass, uh, of, you know, you told me on the phone, you didn't have no money. How can, you know, how can you afford a new condenser? But of course, I didn't say it like that. I said it in a way that wouldn't offend her. And she said that she can get the money for a new condenser. I kind of gave her a ballpark and she said, yes, I, I can come up with that. So, and, and, and that's great. She has no air right now. She has one portable. 
She has one little LG portable and it's not doing much. So if anything, it's just, it's keeping the, uh, the extreme heat out, but it is by no means cooling. Anyway, so we'll see what happens and whatever I end up doing, we'll take you guys along for the ride. All right, y'all, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see y'all on the next one.